This video is sponsored by Art Neko Stamps. They have great quality, deeply etched red rubber stamps and a fantastic variety of stamps. Everyone will find something that they love at Art Neko Stamps. I'll be making a masculine type card and I'll be using a spotlight technique. And this is a red rubber stamp and it's the fishing boat, the Japanese fishing boat silhouette. And I'm placing that on a piece of cardstock and I have this in my stamping tool. And I'm putting it where I want it. Then I'll be taking some plain old uh, school glue and I'll be gluing it onto the back of that stamp or rubbing it onto the back of that stamp because I don't mount my stamps when they're unmounted. I like to leave them the thin rubber uh, just because uh, it's easier to store that way. So I'll be inking up this stamp with a Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I'm going to ink it up several times and stamp it uh, over and over until I get the nice black impression that I want. And there it is, a nice, perfect, dark black impression. And now I'm going to take, it's about a two inch circle die, and I'm trying to figure out where I want to place it. And I decide to place it on the right there. So I want part of the image, but I want part of the background. So I'm going to place that circle die where I want, and then I'll take a piece of um, washi tape, and I'll tape it on there and run it through my die machine. And I'll carefully peel that die off of my card front and I'll carefully pop out the circle because I'm going to set that aside because I am going to use that circle. I'll be coloring that circle with some uh, Tim Holtz Distress inks and I'm going to be using broken uh, china, salty ocean, and tea dye. And I'm just going to grab my aqua brush, my water brush, and then in an acrylic block to rub the ink on. And I will start painting that uh, circle. And that's the salty ocean. And I start with a salty ocean first. And I'm just going to rub a little bit, bit of that onto my acrylic stamping block. And I have my water brush, my aqua brush. And I'm just going to put a drop of water on the stamping block and then I will color where I think the ocean should be. And I will do the same with the um, broken china. And I'll use that to paint where I think the sky is. And then for the tea dye, I will use that uh, to paint the sail of the boat. If you're doing just a little uh, water coloring on a little space, you don't have to use watercolor paper. This is just uh, Georgia Pacific uh, cardstock that I colored on. And I'm out of frame there, but uh, <laughs> I tried. But there it is, all finished. This is a piece of light blue cardstock and it's cut four and a quarter by five and a half. And this is a darker blue and it's cut four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to layer those on top of each other uh, with my uh, dry adhesive. And now I'll take that uh, fishing boat stamped image that I cut the circle out of and I will glue that onto those two uh, layered blue pieces. And now I'm going to carefully glue that circle and I need to glue it back in the exact same spot where it was cut out. 
And I don't like to use wet adhesive for this because you don't want it to ooze around the edges. So I just take uh, my tape runner, my dry adhesive, and I use that. And uh, th this dry adhesive, if I have to, I can peel it back up if it's not perfect. So that's why I like it. But I'm going to glue that circle right back into that negative space. And there it is, all glued perfectly into its original space. <laughs> and I'm just uh, rubbing it down to make sure it's really stuck. And then I'll be working on the sentiment. And for the sentiment, I just printed the sail away with me on my computer. And I think I forgot to mention when I stamped that uh, Japanese fishing boat, that that's three and uh, three and three fourths by five inches yeah and so I cut my banner piece uh, three and three fourths so it would be um, so it would go from edge to edge and I just use some dry adhesive and I glue that on and I try to make sure it's straight and I'm picking out a cat hair <laughs> and I'm just using a white card base here and it's five and a half by four and a quarter, your standard A2 size uh, card base. And I'll just glue that onto the card base with my dry adhesive. And there we go, my masculine card is finished. I will link Art Neko stamps down below. They have lots of great stamps. And I've made it easy for you to subscribe. You can just click on my profile picture or my avatar. And I will have some other interesting videos to the left. Thanks for watching. Bye.